recipe is a special one because it's festive and it's very Christmassy. Having said that, I would eat it any time of the year, to be honest, because it's so delicious, easy to make and absolutely stunning. So it's been requested a lot and I thought, let me quickly do it before Christmas. And here it is, the chocolate log. And just look at that perfection. Here I have got a Swiss roll cake tin and um, you get a few variation sizes in this actually. So you can get like a 23 by 33 centimeters. This is a bit bigger. This is around 40 by 28 or so. Um, but yeah, you can get a few different sizes in this and it's, it's a good tray to have to, I use it for roasting, baking. It's quite a nice tray. So I've greased it and now I'm going to line it with paper. I have got here um, six large eggs and I'm going to separate the egg whites and yolks. I'll get the egg whites in here and egg yolks in here. So to these egg yolks, I'm going to add 130 grams of caster sugar and then just whisk it by hand until it's creamy and pale. That is looking pretty good. Um, here I've got the egg whites and I'm just going to whisk this until it forms soft peaks. Just going to slowly add 20 grams of caster sugar to this and continue whisking. And because we've added the sugar, it will make um, help the egg white stabilize and that is looking perfect. I'm going to move on to the next, next step. Next thing to go in is 50 grams of cocoa powder. And at the same time, I'm going to add ground cinnamon, quarter teaspoon, just for that extra festive flavor. And also a teaspoon of vanilla extract goes in. And then I'm just going to mix it up so it's smooth and blended in. Now I'm going to just take the egg whites and just put one ladle full of the egg whites into um, the egg yolks mix and I'm going to use a large metal spoon just going to mix it at this moment you can be you know just free and um, just try and mix it up well and then we add the rest of the egg whites and this time uh, just going to be extra careful and just make sure we don't lose the air so I'm mixing it up and folding it in if you don't have a wood a large slotted spoon you can just use a large spatula and do the same you just basically have to be really gentle and careful not to knock the air out that is looking pretty good there will be a few specks of egg um, but that's absolutely fine that's not going to affect our sponge in any way let's get the prepared cake tin and try and when you're pouring it try and pour it in different corners so you don't have to you have to spread as little as possible carefully try and Take it to all the corners without you losing any air. Lots of air bubbles in here. This is going to go in a hot oven at 180C for um, around 12 to 40, 14 minutes. And that is ready. You can see it's really fluffy. Um, just give it one minute to kind of come down the side just for a minute. And here I am going to get a nice clean tea towel clean one and I'm just going to get lots of icing sugar on top you can spread it 
see the cake has gone down which is perfect now I'm going to just one two now the sides are always uh, the tricky bit to kind of peel off um, but once we've got that sorted our cake should be fine just use a knife if you need to it just does literally kind of peels off look at that absolutely gorgeous and the steam's coming out. So what I'm going to do is, while it's still hot, let the steam come out for a few seconds. Um, and then I'm just going to fold the sides. So I'm just going to um, just put this fold on just the lip of the cake. And then you don't need to touch the cake. Just use the kitchen roll, uh, just use the kitchen towel and just roll it. It is a really soft cake because you don't want a dry sponge. You want a moist sponge and this is just that. If you just roll it gently, gently and then just leave it alone to cool down completely. Just leave it alone and it takes around half an hour. It could take more. Um, and I will come back to this in a bit. Till then, we have some time. So I'm gonna make some toppings for this and I'm gonna start by making the chocolate ganache. I have got 80 grams of uh, dark chocolate, 70% cocoa, and I've got 50 grams of unsalted butter, which I've chopped up in cubes. Um, and then I'm gonna pour the hot cream, 150 ml on top. Leave it for a few seconds and then stir until it's completely melted. And then just stir it, combine, and then let the heat from the cream melt the butter and the chocolate. And in the end, we'll have a lovely, gorgeous smooth ganache. So I'm just going to cover it, um, put it in the fridge to chill. So this will chill and our cake will cool down. And uh, I'm just going to quickly prepare hazelnut praline, which I think is what makes this for me extra, extra special. The next thing to prepare is some brittle. So I have got here 100 grams of caster sugar and I'm just going to caramelize this. Once we've got a lovely caramel color, I'm going to add 40 grams of chopped roasted hazelnuts. Turn off the heat. Just combine it all up. And then I'm going to spread this on some baking paper. So while it's still hot, I'm just going to spread it as thinly as I possibly can. So I can break up it and break this up into shards um, when it has cooled down. This won't really take long to cool down. And we'll have everything ready together. So I have got here. Quick, quick, I have got here. 200 grams of double cream so basically we need 300 grams double cream and when i went into the fridge i only had a small i had only 200 left so struggles of um, life yes 200 ml of double cream and i have added 100 grams of mascarpone cheese because i had that ready for christmas pudding so i'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar only and then just whisk it until it forms uh, soft peaks is ready now I've got the hazelnut praline which I absolutely love um, so come here so this is the whole quantity what I'm going to do is just break a little piece that's it and then I'm going to push the pieces in a pestle and mortar 
and then you can use of course a mixer um, and uh, just going to crush it up all of this that I have crushed will go into a double cream how beautiful does this look and I'm just going to fold it in oh absolutely amazing and now our cake has cooled down completely so i'm just going to very gently unroll it oh it's lovely and now i'll spread all of the cream on this cake And then just gently spread it into a thin layer. You don't want, want a very, very thick layer of cream because um, you need to balance it. So once the cream is all on top evenly, I'm just going to, just the first round, I will roll it by hand. Just the little lip of the hole. And then I'm just going to use the tablecloth to roll it forward. And as you can see, it has not stuck to my cloth. A little bit is fine. And then I'm just rolling it with the help of the, sorry, tablecloth, I'm saying, the kitchen towel. And that, my friends, is looking beautiful. I'm just going to transfer it on this plate quite carefully. Right, now it's time to decorate. That is a ganache that is um, slightly set. We don't want to set too much. So basically just put it in while your cake is cooling down and that's just exact time. And I'm just using the ganache, just spreading it. I'll do the first base layer of the ganache. So just a nice thin layer. So that I, I am I'm sure that I've covered the whole log of the cake now the sun's just coming out which is beautiful it was raining a minute ago right so i've just covered the whole thing with one thin layer of the ganache and i've still got more left which is when we'll do the nice thick coat on top so that's done now goes in all the all the leftover ganache so you don't need to keep any, just use up all of it. And then very gently spread it all over. Right, I'm just spreading the thick ganache on the other side. Right, now once you've got all the ganache coated, I'm just going to use the back of the spatula, um, sorry, palette knife, <laughs> and just going to give it that bark finish on that cake. Just breaking the left over brittle into small pieces. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Beautiful. I can just eat it like this. All right. So I'm going to decorate it in the center of this. 
just gonna put like random pieces. We'll just spray because it's Christmas. Look at that. of shimmer and that's the moon oh it just cuts like butter it is so soft and that is a sign that the cake is nice and light oh my god look at that that is a swirl. I'm just, I, I'm, I can't believe that the swirl is so perfect. The thickness of the sponge and the cream is exactly the same. It's just is absolutely stunning. And I know it's going to taste amazing because I make it very often. Um, and my favorite bit is the touch of hazelnut brolly into this. Um, just is so soft. The sponge is not dry at all. And it's, I can tell you while I'm cutting into it. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. Mm. It's light. It's melt in your mouth, that cream. But the ganache and the sponge is perfect. Oh. And a very, very gentle touch of cinnamon. I can taste that. That is stunning. I hope you're going to give this a go. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment and I'll see you very soon with a brand new recipe. Oh, guys. Did I say it's good? Mm.